My name is Gary Bottrell. I'm the Operations Director and Founder of Service Dogs UK, uh, which is a unique charity that helps people with PTSD from the armed forces and the emergency services uh, through the use of a specially trained assistance dog. Today at the training centre we've got uh, some people who can tell you about how the, the having a dog has changed their life. Uh, some would even say that it's saved their life. My name is Mark, I served with the British Army for um, nine years. I um, was medically discharged in 2011 and this is my assistant's dog, Jerry. Post-traumatic stress disorder, for me personally, um, it's anxiety, a lot of anger, nightmares and the flashbacks were, were uh, quite severe. As Jerry's an amazing dog. On a daily basis, um, he will um, wake me up from nightmares. If I'm having an anxiety attack or if I'm zoning out a little bit, he'll interrupt that and uh, bring me back, bring me back into the, to the moment. He'll help with washing, so if I give him, he'll take my socks off so I haven't got to bend down. He'll put those in the washing machine if I leave the door open. Um, and then once the wash is done, if I open the door, he'll take the bits out. He's a lifesaver and a life changer, I would say. Yeah, I just can't think of life without him, really. We've had people who have been able to do things that they, they never thought they could possibly do again. Um, and they, they, they're going out into the public with smiles on their faces, whereas before that would be the last thing they'd want to do. My name's Martin Diver. I serve with the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Anglian Regiment, an infantry battalion. And I've been partnered with my service dog, Ollie. When you're having episodes with, of PTSD, it's the way he will deal with it with me. So what he might do, or what he will typically do, is match my breathing. So he'll pant and I'm <sighs> and gradually and slowly he will bring his panting down and his breath rate down um, because he's really aware of breathing um, until I'm kind of a lot more calmer. When he considers me to be calm, he will then settle um, and we'll both pop off to sleep. Having him has allowed me to move away from medications. He's a rescue dog. I hope I give him as much as he gives me. We've got a fantastic relationship. I'm really aware that he's a working dog, he's not a pet, but without him, I would be totally lost. You know, I love him dearly. Without the Veterans Foundation grants, we couldn't do what we do. We've been uh, lucky enough to be recipients of grants twice uh, over uh, two years, and that's helped us to not only just continue what we're doing, but to be able to expand and do new things uh, and take on more veterans. I would say a huge thank you to uh, players of the Veterans Lottery because without that support, without that income, uh, without that ability to uh, help us to finance what we do, we couldn't do it. So thank you so much for playing the lottery and your money is well spent. If you'd like to help charities like Service Dogs UK, please play the Veterans Lottery.